Guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tom, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about one of Celestron's newest products to the market, which is the StarSense Auto Guider. So I've just received it today. My wife had bought it for me well before Christmas. So I'm really excited about this. I've waited um, patiently for, for some time. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing video, just gonna show you what's inside and uh, so that you'll see what you'd get if you was to buy it. At some point, I'll get it onto the C11. I have got a couple more products of surprises coming, so I might wait for them and then do a big video uh, where we're gonna install a whole new setup. So um, yeah, let's get into this. <music> So guys, let's get into this video. We've got another camera up the top there. It's gonna be videoing actually us unboxing all of this and seeing what's inside. Whilst I'm unboxing it, I'm just gonna go through some points as well. Uh, we'll talk through it a little bit and uh, yeah, let's see what we got. So it's the same kind of packaging as what the original Star Sense came in. I've been proper excited about this one guys, so uh, yeah, I've been waiting quite some time. Okie dokie. Right, so first thing that you get is an instruction uh, manual, which is just gonna go through what parts you've got. Um, yeah, just going through sort of user interface really, I suppose. Okay, so um, let's start. It's got its little cable that you connect to your mount. Now, I'm gonna stress something straight away for you guys. So um, it does say on the bottom of, um, when you get into this, it says, warning, do not plug the StarSense Auto Guider into your mount's auto guiding port. Yeah, it can damage the actual auto guider itself. So, um, you know, it, it don't say that until you get to the bottom. The silly me, I would have just plugged that straight into the auto guider thinking, well, it's an auto guider. Uh, no, you just put it into an ox port, okay? So whatever you do, that's a big warning for everyone. Just don't do it. Don't stick that in that auto guiding port. Right, next thing we've got is that Allen key, a couple of screws, and a couple of little tightening up um, bolts. And then we have the little bracket that's going to hold all of our auto guider in place. And then we've got the auto guider itself. So actually, guys, it's, you know, it doesn't come with a huge, a huge array of um, bits and pieces. I mean, this is ultimately what you're paying for. So this cost me seven hundred and fifty pounds. Uh, from the widescreen centre. You know, I'm not sponsored by the widescreen centre at all. Uh, I just really like their shop. I like speaking with um, Simon there. Uh, really helpful, you know. He's um, he's a he's a really nice guy, and um, yeah, he's he's well knowledgeable, and he'll uh, and he'll will always you know guide you in the right direction for for whatever you're really looking for. Um, all right, guys, look, there we go. That is the StarSense Auto Guider by Celestron. I mean, that that's nice. I, I'm actually really excited about this. It, it takes away all of the, you know, stick it, sticking it all on, um, you know, the auto guiding stuff that I usually have, you know, with my uh, guiding scope and my camera. Um, we're going to get rid of all of that now, and we're just going to have this. So a couple of things that I've read about it. So it doesn't just guide on one star, it actually guides on multiple stars, uh, which makes this even more accurate. So that's really exciting. Okay, so there's nothing else in the box, that's it. So we'll stick that back in there. Let's get rid of the box and have a little, uh, have a proper look at this. And we'll go into some specs, so um, do you know what? Let, let's go over uh, build quality straight away. So Celestron, I'm always really impressed with their build quality. I think it's it's really nice what they do. Okay, so first off, you know, looking at the casting, as always, you know, it's um, yeah, it's good quality. There's a couple of little bits in finishing that I think that they could have 
probably cleaned up a little bit better. So like the, the bracket, for instance, if I show you on this camera here, I'm not sure how well that's gonna pick that up. So just here, there's some little sharp edges um, you know, sort of like no knobbly bits, if you like, where they are, they are, I would have thought they probably put these through tumblers um, to clean them off. Uh, so a couple of little bits that, overall, I mean, if if that was, um, you know, like in in another factory, for instance, they might have picked up on that. Uh, I don't know. Um, just something that I've picked up on straight away. So casting wise, um, I I'd sort of rate that. At, uh, you know, it's a nice cast, but. I would rate that myself at maybe like an eight. No, actually, maybe a seven for the amount of money that I've paid for this. I know the bracket is probably pennies, considering you know it's not that that you're really paying for. What you're paying for is actually the the camera itself and the technology that goes into it. Um, and then you've actually got the the camera itself, which has a nice aluminium sort of brushed black steel finish. Uh, looks really good. The back plastic cap cover, uh, that's all nice and neat. You know, no marks or anything like that. It's, yeah, it's, that looks decent. And then we'll take the cap off and we'll just have a little look at the lens. So what I love about this as well, you can actually put uh, different lenses on the front of these. So I believe that you can use it in the daytime um, to calibrate and do other things with I'm not 100% sure on that. Like I say, it's brand new out, so uh, it's hard to know what's what at the moment until I sort of get it all plugged in and uh, and wired into the C11. But overall, right now, I mean, it's it's quite basic, you know. It's not, um, I'd say it's quite basic. You know, you literally get four pieces in, in the box, you know, which is uh, an extended bracket, so one that goes up a bit higher, uh, your cable, uh, an Allen key, two screws, and two little um, tightening up jobby jobbies for for sticking in the side here. Uh, and and overall, you know, on size, um, it's not too big, you know, considering my guide scope. So if I grab another guide scope here, there we go. So that's in, in comparison to another guide scope that I would use. Uh, this is for the Williams Optics, so you know there is a big difference. What I love about it is now I've got two star senses. So you know I've got the original star sense, which I'm going to now put back onto the C8, and I've got this one, which is going to now go on to uh, the big C11. I've been asked to name the the C11. I should name it. They say, what should I name it? You know, throw it down in the comments. What shall I call her? I don't know. Anyway, let's go through some specs. So, remember guys, the first thing, yeah, the, the biggest warning of all, and I'm gonna say this again because I just don't want anyone messing up their, their auto guider. So warning, do not plug the StarSense auto guider into your mount's auto guider port. The StarSense auto guider connects to one of your mount's aux ports. Connecting it to the auto guider port can damage the StarSense auto guider. That's my warning to you guys. Don't do it. All right. So anyway, let's get into this. So uh, spec wise, yeah. So the Celestron StarSense auto guider is an all-in-one solution that makes using the telescope easier and more rewarding than ever. This powerful compact device connects your Celestron mount to enhance its point inaccuracy and help you create long, sharp, long exposure images with ease. Whether you're an experienced astro, astro imager or just starting in the hobby, adding the game changing accessory will ensure you have more quality time under the stars. I'll tell you what, you know, from that I would say yes, 100%. Because when I used to do my three star alignment or four star alignment, um, you know, just, just through the hand controller, some nights I would be out there for ages trying to sort that out. When I got the original Star Sense, that was a complete game changer. So I think with this um, and having the auto guide and the accessory um, built in, this is definitely going to change everything about what I'm what I'm doing with with my guiding and stuff. Um, okay, so uh, automatic alignment. Uh, be ready to observe in minutes. 
Yeah, so StarSense Auto Guider aligns your telescope to the night sky in about three minutes. That's true, it does. Uh, with the press of a button. No user input is needed. Celestron's paint, patented StarSense technology sees, sees stars patterns overhead and matches them to its internal database to automatically orient the telescope. This feature eliminates the hassle of manually aligning your telescope so you can focus on what's important, observing and imaging. Yeah, 100%, that's, that's great. Um, okay, so next up we've got uh, precise go to supercharge your pointing and accuracy i love that supercharge your pointing accuracy very nice right so capturing images um, of astronomical objects is one of the most exciting things you can do with your telescope yes you are right um, but to capture stunning deep sky astro images you need auto guiding the power to make tiny adjustments to the mouse tracking to keep your target locked over long exposures previous auto guiding setups were complex and expensive usually involving separate auto guiding cameras a guide scope and computer star sense auto guider replaces all all of that so even beginners can dive headfirst into the world of imaging your targets are crisp and detailed whilst background stars look sharp like pinpoints never oblong or streaky well that depends on your focus as I know but that's that's um, that's impressive I like the sound of that uh, assisting polar alignment dial in the best alignment possible Okay, so many users find that adding StarSense Auto Guider to their setup improves accuracy so dramatically that they no longer need to polar align their German equatorial mounts for most casual observing and imaging. But if you want to achieve the best accuracy possible, the Auto Guider dramatically simplifies the polar alignment process. Simply follow the on screen instructions on the hand controller on the CPWI software and you can complete the full polar alignment in less than five minutes. Well, that's decent, guys, isn't it? Um, you know, I suppose that's like, you know, when you go into Nina or something and, and you do your polar alignment. Um, okay, so high quality uh, four element optical design. The StarSense Auto Guider features a high quality four element optical design devised by the famed optical designer, Mark Ackerman. Um, its unique design delivers sharper images than other mini guide scopes. The optical tube is threaded to accept a two inch astronomical filters. That I said about that, didn't I? Um, so you can add an IR pass filter to align your mount in twilight or neutral density filter uh, for daytime focusing. The device also includes an onboard computer and high sensitivity Sony IMX290 DOL uh, monochrome uh, CMOS image sensor all working together to provide exceptional guiding accuracy you can view a live image from the camera via your pc if desired advanced options advanced users will love fine tuning their auto guiding setup via cpw eyes advanced settings you can enable differing options to move them out slightly between camera sub exposures which may help your image processing software perform at its best well that's important isn't it you know, because you, you want to make sure you don't want to end up losing and end up having to cut off a load of your image because your your stars um, weren't lining up properly or you was losing certain bits. So having your stars centered in, in your frame is really important. Um, best of all, you can unlock more exciting features like these throughout the lifetime of your StarSense Auto Guider. Your purchase grants you access to all subsequent firmware updates celestron engineers are constantly adding new functionality uh, to our products and with a simple firmware update you'll always be able to enjoy the latest and greatest so um you know what firmware updates i would say you know usually they make a load of these things and they stick them in the factory uh, and then they bring out all of these updates so all of these ones uh, probably do need an update so the first thing I'll do is I'll probably plug everything in and just update any anything that needs updating. Um, okay, and then and then it goes back onto that warning. Don't plug it in to the uh, auto guiding port. Yeah, aux ports only, guys. 
And there you go. I mean, that is it. I'm not going to go and make this a crazy long video. This is just me super excited that I've got the Auto Guided Star Sense. Um, what I'll do is I'm waiting for a couple of new items to come through on the post, a couple of new little uh, toys that I've gone and grabbed. What I'll do is I'll do a video of me installing all of that. Um, but my next video is actually going to be me stripping down the C11. So all of those videos that I've done before where I've sat there putting, you know, cable tidies and stuff on, it's all coming off. The whole lot's coming off. I'm tearing that thing down and uh, yeah, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So uh, get ready for the video, guys. I'll be working on that this weekend and I'll release it on Sunday night. Um, Actually, I might release it Sunday morning. It depends. So keep an eye out. You know, remember, like, subscribe, throw comments down below. Um, we're going to get into this, and we're going to make the uh, the C11 something a little bit special. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care.